Hi. We are going to discuss some multiple choice questions and answers on business statistics for UGC Net Commerce. I am Abbas Vatoli, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Amal College, Nilambu. In this presentation, we will be discussing 12 questions from correlation, 11 questions from regression, 10 questions from probability, 10 questions from binomial and poison distribution, 5 questions from normal distribution, 14 questions from testing of hypothesis, and 4 questions from sampling distribution. First, correlation. Correlation can be positive or negative. When the values of two variables move in the same direction, correlation is said to be positive. Likewise, when the values of two variables move in the opposite direction, correlation is said to be negative. When amount of change in one variable lead to a constant ratio of change in the other variable, correlation is said to be linear. If plotted points on a scatter diagram fall on a narrow band, it indicates high degree of correlation. Narrow band means a straight line. Correlation coefficient ranges between minus 1 and a plus 1. Minus 1 means perfect negative correlation. Plus 1 means perfect positive correlation. 0 means no correlation. Correlation coefficient is independent of origin and scale. Correlation coefficient R can be calculated as covariance, covariance of x, y divided by sigma x, sigma y. Coefficient of correlation explains direction and degree of relationship between two variables, not the magnitude. Rank correlation was discovered by Spearman. Where Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation is there, it is also called product moment correlation. The formula for probable error is 0.6745 into 1 minus r square divided by root n. Coefficient of concurrent deviation depends on the sign of the deviation. If r is equal to 0.9, coefficient of determination that is r square is 81 percentage. Now, some questions from regression. The term regression was introduced by Sir Francis Galton. Regression refers to average relationship between two variables for prediction purpose. If x and y are two variables, there can be at most two regression lines y on x and x on y. In a regression line of y on x, y is dependent variable and x is independent variable. Dependent variable, otherwise known as explained variable or regressed variable and independent variable, otherwise known as explanatory variable or regressor. The two lines of regression intersect at point x bar, y bar. The property that b y on x, b x on y and r have same signs, that means positive or negative, is called signature property. That means if b y on x is positive, then b x on y also positive and Correlation coefficient are also positive. The relation R is equal to square root of B y on X into B x on Y is known as 
fundamental property of regression coefficient. The geometric mean of two regression coefficients b y on x and b x on y is equal to r. b y on x is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x. The regression coefficient and correlation coefficient of two variables will be the same if their standard deviation are same. If you look at the above equation, b y on x is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x. If standard deviation of x and y are same, it become 1. So, b y on x is equal to r. When two or more independent variables are used to explain or predict the dependent variable, then it is called a multiple regression. Similarly, when one independent variable is used to explain a dependent variable, then it is called a simple regression or linear regression. Now, few questions on probability. The numerical value given to the likelihood of the occurrence of an event is called probability. A such event are said to be mutually exclusive if the occurrence of one prevents the occurrence of the other. Probability of an event lies between 0 and 1. 0 means an impossible event and 1 means a sure event. When diagram demonstrate the relationship between different sets and sets of operations. The sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. It is denoted by S, capital letter S. The probability of the entire sample space S is equal to 1. That is, P of S is equal to 1. P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. It is for any two events. For mutually exclusive events, P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B. Because for mutually exclusive events, P of A intersection B is a null set. N permutation N is equal to N factorial. N permutation 1 is equal to N. N combination N is equal to 1. Permutation and combination are ways of arrangement. Permutation is with reference to order and combination is without reference to its order of arrangement. Now binomial and poison distribution. A discrete random variable can assume at most a countable number of values. That means it can only assume specific values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Binomial distribution is introduced by James Bernoulli. Binomial distribution is an example for discrete probability distribution. Binomial distribution has two parameters n and p. n stands for number of trials and P stands for probability for success in a single trial. Mean of the binomial distribution is NP and variance of the binomial distribution is NPQ. Q is 1 minus P. Poisson distribution is originated by Simon Dennis Poisson. Mean and variance of the Poisson distribution are equal to M, that means Poisson distribution has single parameter M. The value of E is used in Poisson distribution is 
and it is a constant. If n is very large and p is very small, we use Poisson distribution. Now some questions on normal distribution. Normal distribution is an example for continuous probability distribution. Mean, median and mode are equal for normal distribution. Mean equal to median equal to mode. Mean of standard normal variate is 0. That is for an Z distribution which follows normal with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. The area under standard normal curve beyond the line of Z is equal to plus or minus 1.96 is 5%. That means Z plus or minus 1.96 covers 95% of the values. Coefficient of skewness of a normal distribution is 0. Now testing of hypothesis. Null hypothesis is the original hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis is the negation of null hypothesis. A researcher's hypothesis is alternative hypothesis. Rejecting a null hypothesis when it is true is called type 1 error. Accepting a null hypothesis when it is false is called type 2 error. Type 2 error is denoted by the symbol beta and type 1 error is denoted by the symbol alpha. Degree of freedom is related to the number of independent observations. If there are n observations, generally n minus 1 will be the degree of freedom. A sample is treated as large sample when its sample size is more than 30. T-test or student's T-test was invented by W.S. Gossett. Z-test was developed by R.A. Fisher. Range of the variance ratio F is 0 to infinity. The hypothesis that the population variance has a specified value can be tested by chi-square test. When the calculated value of test statistic is numerically less than the table value, we accept the null hypothesis. The calculated value of chi-square is always positive. Analysis of variance technique is used to test whether mean of several samples are equal. Non-parametric tests are distribution-free tests and parametric tests can be applied only to normal distribution. Chi-square is the simplest and most widely used non-parametric test. T-test, Z-test, etc. are parametric tests. Now the last sampling distribution. A numerical measure of a population is a population parameter. A numerical measure of sample is called sample statistic. Population parameters are estimated by sample statistics. X bar is a sample statistics which is used for estimating the population parameter mu. S square is the sample statistics which is used to estimate the population parameter sigma square. The central limit theorem states that the distribution of the sample mean x bar tends to a normal distribution regardless of the distribution of the population from which the random samples are drawn. 
it says this sample distribution of x bar is always a normal distribution whether the population was normal or not.